What is going on everyone? My name is Boyd and I am joined with insert description Chrono JJ. Yes, I'm sorry, I've run out of oh, words. I've, I, you can exert it if you want, describe yourself. Spectacular. <laughs> the spectacular Chrono JJ spawning in the bottom of the map in the blue color playing his set. His name is I Am Joe. He's playing today in the red color playing his set as well. It's Kimo. We like seeing mirror matches. It's all about uh, decision making and, and skill. There's no. Ah. Your god's so strong because you are that god. It's currently 2 to 0 for Joe. Let me fix that one up in the old score there while. Chrono JJ tells me all the good things in this game that are about to happen. Okay, well, we'll see. Um, set v set will involve a whole ton of animal conversions, but um, actually this is big, is that um, the hyena is on Kimo's priest, which is forcing Kimo to send a villager forward, um, which is not good for your economy um and i would also say similar to our isis v isis joe has more experience with the set so i would give joe the advantage here anyway it's funny you say that yes joe plays more egyptian than uh than uh kimo but uh kimo plays more games than joe so <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure if the experience comes in that much. That was some sneaky hyena play there from Joe. Did you see that? I so caught that. That makes that makes the priest um, reset his conversion. That is really good, actually. Because yeah. if the priest moves like that, wow, that's that's pretty high high IQ from Mr. Joe right there. Yeah, some might say 300 IQ play. And, and, and while this is all going on, Joe's just happily converting ball without any pressure from Kimo. Mm -hmm. If that boar from Joe can find Kimo's priest, and Kimo just retasked his priest up there, so the conversion restarted. Mm. Uh, look, it's gonna be it's gonna be a hard one to find. Uh, I mean, Joe, Joe may click down through this location. Oh, the. The water buffalo keeps walking out of line of sight here. This is really showing Kimo's inexperience with set. You need to have the entire area yeah. around the animal to be scouted. Otherwise, there's a huge potential for uh, the 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 uh, water buffalo to run into black area. And now he's oh, and now Joe's priest is gonna show up. Yep, Joe's priest shows up. Three minutes into the game, the board jumps onto the priest. Now the priest has to get away from there and. This is going to be huge because this just means that there's going to be so much hunt that Joe can just eat under his town center, whereas Kimo is going to have nothing. That Kimo is building his temple with seven, <laughs> seven villagers. Nani? Kimo. Well, he forgot. To... I think we have to build it. Uh, this is looking. This is looking. Either really forgot rough. or was too slow to get gold. Yeah. And we see Patar coming through and uh, Joe's beating him on that one, has killed the priest. This is just looking really, really good for Joe right now. Man, man. I mean, it, it just, in mirror matchups like this, it, like just the beginning goes wrong. Mm. It can really start like an avalanche of kind of mistakes and issues uh, but check this out this is a relic that uh Kimo has just picked up it's called the fetters of fenrir this is a uh, it's a very interesting relic because it kind of changes the dynamic of this matchup slightly in that uh he can one hit animals and therefore he can one hit all the animals that joe's just converted if they decide to come near villages man look how close i just that, that is good. I'm 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 kind of looking at how close these uh, town centers are. Like they are ridiculously close. Yeah, the whole one and screen like the way this is. I mean, Joe could if Joe can get a shift on the priest and Pharaoh here. 
I don't know. Kimo. Okay. Kimo has like no resources. Well, that's what we happens. Have to hunt all the way at the bottom. That's what happens when you build a temple in seven, seven villages. <laughs> and he had to send, and because he didn't have any hunt to convert to eat, he had to send his hunt vills walking all the way to the bottom. So Kimo is not going to be able to grab an early town center. Yeah, this is this is looking real bad for, uh, for Kimo here. And Joe's just going to walk away with this one just because he's got two down centers of uh, pre production time. And also, the other thing is, Kimo doesn't know where his town center is. Like, it's obvious where it is, but he doesn't know where it is. He hasn't scattered with his pigs. He hasn't done anything. Oh, the back one. Yeah, yeah. So now he's seeing Kimo go for this town center. Will Joe do anything? See, he doesn't have it on the right uh, side. I don't think Joe really cares too much. No, he's just happy to be um, producing everything in the right order and being really efficient. Because he's way ahead. I mean, he's pretty far ahead. Mm. Do you know what they say? When you're ahead, get more ahead. <laughs> or, 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 or play safe. E either way, you can... <laughs> That, 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 go. That, that, that sometimes playing safe is uh, is getting more ahead. <laughs> sometimes it is. Um, yeah. Um, we just need to basically Joe just needs to get to his uh, his raw gauge now. He's chucking up his armory. He's got a lot of villagers onto food. Kimo's going to be super far behind, and this is just going to be maybe even just a a, a a rehash of our last game with uh with siege towers. Yeah, so that's just pushing down this ward town center. Joe can even mix in some mercenary if he wants. Because of how close the town centers are. Yeah, Kimo's behind about five villagers. Insane, that's so many villagers for this early in the game. Yeah, it is. That's quite a bit. Joe's uh, priest gets pushed away. Hyena chasing him down. He should be able to make it back to uh, back to his villages in time. Yeah. Yeah, should be able to make, should be able to reach safety. Well, it looks like the wadget does get picked off. Trade the wadget for a deer uh, of set there. It's gonna hurt. Yeah, but it, I mean, this is the power of set is the ability to just hunt kind of indefinitely under the town center at the beginning of the game. So yeah, yeah. It's like, all this ro roaming and wandering doesn't do much. Yeah. You can't. You cannot push a uh, set player off hunt. Now we're seeing the heroic gauge coming through it's at about thirty percent, and the chemo is far away to be sure. He's got like, twenty-seven yeah. villages on food, and he's only he hasn't even like only halfway completed his armory. So it's looking like it's going to be like a nine or ten minute uh, heroic gauge here for chemo, which is yeah, that's ouchy. way too slow. You can't, you just can't, it really in like Egypt, I mean, I guess it's kind of true for any mirror. You can't really afford to fall behind. Because it's not like you really get any sort of like civ specific benefit that can help you catch up. Same exact as your opponent. If you're behind, you're just always behind. Yeah, and here's the Migdal stronghold just out of line of sight of that town center. It's like Joe knows. Wait, cause is it just us? Yeah, just out of line of sight. That's gee, that's so good. Really nice positioning from Joe there. He's gonna get the hunt up for free, and it's gonna be really able to help him on this push. Um, we can also build out. Oh, he actually can't. He's got no food in the bank at the moment. I was gonna say he can build out some uh, some elephants because of how much food he's got, but or how, how much hunt he's got. But he needs to gather that hunt. So he's gonna be going for chariot archers. He's gonna be going for siege towers, and it's gonna be. Gonna be a big one. Joe's got a nice relic too. It makes uh, archers fifteen percent cheaper. Yeah, yeah. These these chariot archers now cost uh, eighty five wood and thirty four gold. So you can build quite a bit more than you would otherwise think. And it kind of makes it uh, almost. I mean, you also have the set bonus, which uh, makes your chariot archers build faster. So they're yeah, very speedy, speedy chariot archers. And there is a besiege tower coming out as well, so that's going to be huge. And Kimo is advancing; he's ninety percent, so he's going to have ancestors to uh, fight back against 
ancestors, but he's just gonna be behind on the uh, on the military by yeah. quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Chariots will come in on the food. Oh, it's a raid, yeah. Big raid. Five chariot archers, big enough villagers here, and you're already behind on village account. Almost, almost would have liked to have seen. I mean, it's kind of picky at this point, but to see Joe put up a siege workshop first. Yeah, I'm not sure how much it changes anything. Really, it's you'd get an extra siege tower with your push. Yeah. Well, here we yeah, go, here making the, uh, the push. making the push in. We'll just get pulled off the line, jump into the town center, and you have to do a really good micro here to pick off these siege towers. And so does Joe. He needs to pull the siege tower back, focus fire the villages with his chariots. You see Kimo cast the ancestors, and Joe cast the ancestors. So far, so good for Joe. Now, Kimo, on the other hand, should not have built his siege workshop first. There's the, there's the shifting sands, but a lot of Joe's army into Kimo's base, and Kimo taps out probably one of the fastest games we've seen all tournament. <laughs> one of the fastest series. Yeah, that was a thrashing. Man, a comment in chat that if uh, Kimo's name weren't on the, the scorecard, you would have no idea it was Kimo. Yeah, I think I think this goes to show like this is something that uh, Colonel JJ has mentioned before about the difference between playing random 1v1 games and playing tournament games where uh, your brain just just it's just the wiring is just slightly different because you have in the back of your head that you're not just playing for virtual pixels in raiding you're actually playing to stay alive in the tournament if you lose. It's like you you you're out or whatever, so you, you start questioning yourself and don't play as well as you normally can. And and because Kimo has a history of falling out of tournaments a little bit early, I feel like he's kind of got that issue just from watching these games. Well, I mean, whatever the issue was, it resulted in some pretty poor play. Uh, I mean, there's really no other way to. Put it, eh, but let's not forget Joe played. Joe did play well. I really, uh, mm. looking at what he did, there wasn't really much to say like, oh, that's messed up or that's wrong. He he played pretty efficiently. And when you're yeah. efficient and your opponent is not, and you have outside of the first game, you've got two mirror matches, and then you get pretty easy wins. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Joe Joe's been playing Egyptian forever, man, and he's not surprised when he plays Egyptian. He knows what you have to do. He's played Magic a lot in Egyptian Wars, and it's also always really close, if not Joe favored in those Magic games. Um, so he's he's played the best and and stood toe to toe with them. So if you're going to come into the series and play Egyptian into his Egyptian, you better be like, or you better be ready because he knows what he's doing. Yeah, and just speaking of just the early delay in the town centers, um, at the eight minute mark, Joe already had a thousand more resources gathered than Kimo, six thousand to five thousand. So that's that's a lot in eight, wow. eight minutes. Yeah, big difference in uh, in five villages for that long, right? And just like being able to hunt because you got all because you got all of that extra hunt earlier, just like. Able to right. able to hunt so well. Able to hunt and didn't have to move villies all the way down to the bottom of the map like Kimo had to. But mm. uh, man, would have like hmm. when it comes to like Egyptian series, like you go into it kind of expecting like you know thirty minute, forty minute slugfest, but um, we. We were not even close to that. Nope. So just out outclassing on the day. I mean, there's always the chance that Kima gets to uh, gets to uh, actually show us what he's made of. He gets to go into the losers bracket now and fight his way back to the finals. Uh, so yes. there, there is there is we do some, have that. there is hope for him. Hope for redemption because yeah. I would. I mean. <laughs> I would like to have redemption after this. 